All right, in this video, we're going to do a comparison between the rigid, portable, programmable tire inflator and the uh, GSP SCN one that I did a review on a couple of videos back. Um, they've both got benefits to them. Uh, this particular guy comes with a complete toolbox, but if you already have a toolbox with tools in it, that's probably not an issue. This one's just very convenient. I want to see how quick they uh, actually work on inflating. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, in all fairness, this, this is going to have a fresh battery. This is going to be connected to the car battery with the engine running. And uh, let's see who wins. Before we go any further, let me let you know I am doing a giveaway in this video. It's going to be my first one, so bear with me. I'm going to uh, do my best. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you all the details about the giveaway. So to keep everything fair, I've got one of these deflators. I'm going to use the same one on both tires, get them down to the same pressure, hopefully uh, within a PSI or two. So to keep this as fair as possible, I'm going to go on each tire. I'm going to check the tire pressure just to make sure they're as close to uh, being even as possible. This one is right at 28. And the front tire is right at 28. So we've got pretty much even pressure. So let me get everything set up. Um, again, in, in the interest of fairness, I'm going to start the engine up, connect the, uh, the uh, other one, the odd named one, uh, to the car battery, and uh, hook them both up to the tires. And then we'll start it, we'll time it, we'll just see, uh, we'll see how it does. Got everything set up. Uh, they're both reading 28, and I got them set both for 38. I'm gonna start them simultaneously. Start the stopwatch a few seconds after, but it'll give us an idea of where they both sit. So let me give you a close-up of this. Surprisingly enough, they were really close. The uh, the weird named one, GCSCB, whatever it is, um, stopped first. The rigid actually stopped five seconds after, and so they were pretty darn close. So let me give you a summary of uh, what I think is uh, a better buy. Well, who wins out? In my opinion, uh, the rigid does. It's just so much more convenient. I've taken them both to the beach and um, hooking up the wires um, on the other one. They don't reach all the way, so you gotta kinda run it across the engine to get to the rear uh, right tire. Um, as long as you got a good battery, this thing does wonderful. If you don't have a battery, it actually comes with a little adapter pack. And um, considering it's only got one piston, and the GSP SCN has two, this thing was only five seconds slower and inflating it up to 38 PSI from 28 PSI, so. So, yeah. It also has a manual mode. Anyway, yeah, I give the rigid thumbs up. I'm going to get rid of the other one, keep this one in the truck. Hopefully, I'll remember to pack a battery whenever I go to the beach. But if I don't, I'll have this cord that I can uh, that I can use. Now, about the giveaway, uh, here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be giving away one of these brand new. And it's going to have to be limited to Continental 48 uh, logistics. I don't know that I can get it delivered anywhere else. So, it have to be in the uh, lower 48 uh, to be eligible for the giveaway um the other thing is you have to be a subscriber one last thing i'm going to put a word 
in the description and you have to put that word in your comments so i'll look through the list of eligible comments and i'll be doing a drawing on january 14th and i'll do a quick video just to announce who the winner is and hopefully uh somebody will win but good luck to you all anyways if you've enjoyed this video hit share hit like and please don't forget to subscribe hit that button right there